hey, hey, hey. I just want to shout out to my new best friend, Ryan MC Cordic, who says, WTF, only 171 views for this video. I just love it when people make comments like that, because it makes me feel all Sally Field status. And I can't deny the fact that you like me. Thank you. And then after reading the comment section and not seeing anyone be like, show me your boobs, I'm like two for two winning. I'm like, by winning, winning, duh. Yeah. So, has anyone here majorly screwed up at work or royally messed up at school? That five page essay was due today? You wanted me to present that PowerPoint project today? I was supposed to sell all this weed by today? Oh, I was supposed to sell all this weed by last week. You get the point. Walking into a situation or having the realization that you have majorly fracked up is the worst. Your stomach drops, your brow starts to sweat, your heart pounds. And you go through what scientists can only describe as the fight or flight response. I'm gonna have to punch my boss in the face. I'm gonna have to leave the state of California. And since we all do it, and all have to face that public shame when we are found out, let's just take a minute to appreciate it. The fight. Now there are two ways to go about the fight. The most honest and direct route you can take is that of full disclosure. Just going in the next day, or the day after, and just being honest. I would just like to say that I watched YouTube videos all weekend, and I did not write my paper. I lied when I applied here. I didn't know how to make a PowerPoint. I thought I could learn it by the time you needed me to make a project, but you know, I couldn't. Honestly, I smoked all the weed that I was supposed to sell. Another way to fight is the blame game. Well, this is a bit more time consuming, it can totally be worth it. Because as everyone who's messed up knows, it probably wasn't entirely their own fault. Probably was. But if you can just search deep enough into your Gmail archive, you can probably find someone who gave you slightly wrong information. When you look at the syllabus, it says the paper is due today, not in class. So technically, I should have the rest of the day to finish it. Well, technically you sent your email at 12.01 AM, which is today. But in the email, you said tomorrow. But if you had met today, you should have just said today, because 12.01 AM is today. Flight. First, there is the cover up. Now this technique works great if you can get away with it, but you gotta make sure it doesn't come back and bite you in the ass. My computer crashed. Look, I gave it to the Mac people already. They said it would only take a day to fix, so I will have that PowerPoint to you by tomorrow. That's when you go home and make the PowerPoint, because your computer's not broken. Okay, Harry, your new name is Congress. When Anna and Ray walk in this room, you pretend to be an orange Persian cat by the name of Congress, okay? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Well, this does say dill weed. I bet if I just crossed out the dill, I could sell this as the weed that I was supposed to sell, but I accidentally smoked. The ultimate flight, of course, is just never showing up to work again. Just kidding. I'd never leave you guys. Subscribe, and I'll see you next week.